Hey guys, how's it going? Jackson here with another video, and I am back from Utah. We came back last Saturday, um, had some work to do, and now uh, I have time to make a video. And so today what I got right here is some rocks that I mostly bought, um, but a few of them I did collect out in Utah, which was pretty cool. Found some interesting stuff that I think you guys are gonna be surprised that I found. Um, <clears throat> But uh, yeah, we had a great time. Went on like four hikes. It was super fun. Saw a lot of amazing wildlife and some really gorgeous scenery. Um, I really recommend you guys go. We went to uh, Zion National Park and then Bryce Canyon National Park. Saw some prairie dogs out in Bryce Canyon. That was super, super cool. Uh, I did not know there was prairie dogs out there. So. Uh, that was that was something to see, and then they said they have pronghorn out there, um, mule deer, they got elk, they got some uh, black black bears, yeah, they got some black bears, some mountain lions, it was super cool. I mean, we didn't see all that stuff, just mostly just the prairie dogs, but we got some cool rocks. So um, let's just let's just get in on it. So hold on. Okay. So where do we start? Where do we start? Um, I think this is a nice place to start. Uh, this is a nice, I don't know what you'd call it, what you'd really do with it, more of a paperweight, but uh, it's a really nice piece of agate. Uh, you can really see those really nice blotching right there. Um, that's like the agatization. So this is a really, really nice piece. I really liked it, so I had to get it. Um, agate has been growing on me pretty, pretty strong. Um, and so, yeah, you can see that right there, that's some betroidal betroid formations right there in the, in the quartz. Um, I just really, really like this, this pattern to it. It's a really cool pattern. Let's see, I wonder if it'll look any better if I wet it down. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. But yeah, that's, that's just a piece of, uh, piece of quartz and jasper um, and it looks like there might be some sand inclusions right there right there let's see mm, eh. okay the next thing is gonna be this this is a nice piece of ocean jasper um, or like jasper agate uh, it's pretty neat um, there there it'll focus um, nice greens in it, some grays, some whites, and then some nice juicy quartz on top with some juicy bugs inside. Pretty neat little, uh, piece right there. And then they, uh, they, uh, flatten the bottom so you can, uh, set it down. So that's a nice little, uh, specimen piece. Um, unfortunately I got this little kitty cat right here that's trying to bother me. But I'm making a video. Uh... Let's see, some other stuff. I'm gonna go right over here in this bag. So we got some stuff in some jars. Well, right here, we got some um, freshwater pearls, I believe. Um, got a nice little parcel that was pretty cheap, so I just had to get them. I thought they were pretty neat. I don't know what I'll do with them. Turn them into beads or something. <clears throat> but we'll see. Uh, let's see right here this is a cool little piece um this is a nice little piece of red barrel i was super excited to pick this guy up super nice i mean not the best quality red barrel obviously like you wouldn't do any sort of cutting with it or any cabbage anything like that but this is just a nice specimen piece to have um you can see that hexagonal formation and then the sort of reddish hue to it so i think that's a really neat piece i'm really glad i bought that that was when i saw that at the shop i was i was really excited and i also met a gentleman working at a shop and he found a piece of red barrel as well at the same time he found some uh topaz which was pretty cool i it was a really really cool and then this this is really really i got a decent deal on this this was pretty cool um, 
This is a nice terminated aquamarine piece, 20, uh, 21 carats. Um, I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe, maybe cut something with it eventually. Um, cause it's kind of clear. It's not the best quality. There's a lot better quality. Um, but I really like this piece. It was, it was really nice. And then there, the black right there, that's some, uh, tourmaline on the bottom, which is kind of, kind of cool. Um, but yeah, uh, this and this are the same thing. So they're both barrel. They just have different um, trace minerals that bring out the color. And this is a lot more rare because you don't see barrel with a lot of red, usually. Um, this guy right here, this is a cool geode that I broke open the other day when I got home. Um, this is from Dugway. Uh, it's northeast, I believe. Uh, sort of near Salt Lake City, I'm, I'm pretty sure. We didn't get to go there, unfortunately, but they were, the general, uh, the rock stores were selling Dugway geodes, and uh, I just cracked this open when I got home, and I was surprised. Some really nice agate in there, some nice agate banding, and then some betroidal chalcedony under, underneath this druzy quartz. Super cool. really really nice I was really surprised with that but I believe uh, the geodes that you do get from uh, from that area are gonna be very similar to this so a lot of like those formation areas are gonna have similar similar uh, components um, let's see right here we just got I don't know some quartz or it could be agate, it has some bubbling, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I just had to bring it home. Um, I think this is a nice piece of jasper. Nice piece of, might be agate and jasper. I'm gonna have to cut that, cut into that later. Nice piece of jasper. I should probably be wetting these down. So you can see the colors, some nice pinks in there. Uh, let's see this one. This is a nice piece. It has um, those little dots that, right there. That's some little agate, I guess, pieces. Um, I haven't looked under this with my jeweler's loop but I will pretty soon. Another nice piece of uh, quartz. Might be agate, I don't know. And a nice little piece of like, uh, it's either like a chert or a jasper. That's pretty cool. And, let's see, anything else, anything else. We'll just dump this out. We're just going for it. Uh, let's see. Some other pieces of jaspers and right there. So that's a nice piece right there in the middle. Some jaspers. That might be, I don't know what that is. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? Can you see it? Uh... <laughs> so I don't know if you can see right here, but that right there is called a dendrite. And uh, basically it's, this for this form, it's manganese that is uh, was growing in sort of a dendrite formation or like maybe like a fern or uh like roots or something you might say but it, this isn't and there's some dendrites right there on the corner i have a better piece i'll show you right here uh, it's a lot bigger that big chunk i was talking about 
but you can see there's that dendritic formation right there especially right there you can see um i just stumbled upon this luckily uh, i was we were taking a hike out on like a road cut and i was looking at rocks and just picked one up said this one looked interesting and licked it and i found that formation in there and i was super excited um i'm pretty sure this rock is just sandstone um i'm not too sure on what else it could be but you can see there's a nice dendritic formations right there and that's some manganese yeah so without further ado i think we should crack open that geode Okie donkey. So I am ready to bust open this bad boy for YouTube. Got my protective gear and my pick. Boop, boop, boop. And let's see. So this looks like two geodes, pretty much, two vugs. Um, one right here and then one right here. So I'm just gonna hit it right in the middle, see what happens. Uh, I don't really care if it shatters or not because I already have a nice, decent one over there. So let's get into it, yeah? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'll just hit it with this side. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there's the first half right there. A nice, you can see some agate in there. Uh, looks like a giant ball of agate. On the other side, looks like there's some agate in there. So it looks like we're gonna smash this one more time. Let's start with this side first. Let's see, there we go. It's pretty interesting. Some nice banding in there. The layers of silica. Sweet, sweet. There's a nice little bug right there. There's some agate. Now I'm just gonna smash it in the middle. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Look at that. That is pretty sweet. Nice little druzy bug right there. That is nice indeed. Some other pieces. Oop, nice little pocket right there. Um, some stuff shot everywhere. But anyway, let's get let's get to this one. Let's get to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hit it right here. I should put this in a towel, but you know what? Whatever. Right there, right in the middle. <laughs> and another little Druzy Vug, a very similar formation. Um, like I said, they're all going to be very similar when you crack them open. Um, oh, that has some really interesting pieces. Look at those terminated quartz. That's really cool. That is really cool. Was not expecting that. Jeez. Probably would have, uh, acted with more care. a nice little bug too right here okay nice some nice stuff indeed indeed let's see some nice little crystals right there some nice terminated pieces right there well well guys um that's all i have for you today so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, hopefully we have more geos to crack in the future and more stuff to see. Uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. 
and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.